now to that big headline about girl star Lena Dunham. The actress is opening up about a health challenge she's facing that's forcing her to call off her entire press tour for her hit show and rest. ABC's Deborah Roberts, always good to see her. Has nice to see you us. too, Robin. Lena is revealing her battle against endometriosis. It's an often painful condition which afflicts millions of women and can lead to fertility issues for some. It's a topic many women would prefer to keep to themselves, but the outspoken Dunham may just change that. Get, get, get up on it. Lena Dunham's one of the busiest women in Hollywood, directing, writing, starring in her HBO hit Girls. I worked very, very hard to overcome the challenges of my non-traditional body type. But just two weeks before the season five premiere, Dunham made a surprise announcement saying she'll not be able to promote the new season due to a chronic health condition called endometriosis. Writing on Facebook, I'm currently going through a rough patch with the illness. It's time to rest. She didn't have to announce it and come clean, but people really love her because she not only speaks her mind, but she shares her truth and has done it in her personal life and also on screen. The love on social media came quickly for the actress, with one woman sharing her own endometriosis experience, writing, I'm level four. Thank you for being so honest and open about this. Another, thank you for your bravery. You could have easily kept this private. She doesn't just say, like, this is what's going on with me. She also goes a step further and tries to help educate. Dunham first shared her battle with the condition back in November on her blog called The Sickest Girl, posting these photos after a surgery positively diagnosed her with the disease. She's learned a lot from that experience, and now she's, like, saying, you know what, you guys, like, I'm just going to take some time off. When somebody says that and they're, they're fully honest about it, you can't do anything but really respect their decision. In fact, honesty is her uh, honest, honesty is her mantra. Donham goes on to shine light on her dark moment, saying she's no longer afraid of her body, that she now listens to it. In her classic style, she truly opened up about her struggle, even detailing in her blog about a time on the set when she was in such agony that she couldn't even leave the room to direct the show. Clearly determined, Robin, to give a voice to other women who are suffering in silence. Hey, Deb, thank you very much. And so glad that she's listening to her body. ABC News Chief Women's Health correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with more and you really want to talk about this. Yep. We have heard about this. It's been around forever, but we yep. still don't know that much about and it. And I think, Robin, you could arguably say this is the most painful and least discussed GYN issue affecting so many women, so we do need to explain it. Mm -hmm. I want you to take a look at this. I'm going to show you here. You okay. can look right there. What endometriosis is, is basically the lining of the uterus, the endometrial glands, instead of coming out of the body, they also go all over the abdominal and pelvic cavity, and they plant these little seeds or lesions or implants all over the body. They can attach to bowel, bladder, the side of your wow. pelvis, and they are, are hormonally responsive. So as the uterus contracts every month, so do those lesions, and it can cause excruciating pain. We don't really understand what causes it, but we know it can be incredibly debilitating. I have heard from so many friends how painful yep. this is. How are you able to diagnose it? Well, the thing is, truly endometriosis has to be diagnosed surgically. So that's either with a camera looking inside the abdomen and taking a biopsy. You can't really diagnose it with ultrasound. We can get clues to its presence with the symptoms a woman is having, but it is really important to make the diagnosis. And Deb was telling us uh, about Lena and how she, that sometimes she was just not able to work. There are many consequences, a range of that. Exactly, and it's really a spectrum of severity, Robin. There, you, women can have endometriosis and have no symptoms or very mild symptoms, and then it can progress along this spectrum. They can miss school or work, and usually that's if it's being inadequately treated. In this day and age, that's really a, a failure of modern medicine if they need to miss things like that. The scarring can then go on to right. cause fertility issues, and it can be associated with an increased risk of ovarian cancer, which gets back to why it's so important to make the diagnosis. So give us the treatment options here. Again, a spectrum, okay? Right. This can range from, from no treatment. The mainstay of treatment is usually hormonal suppression so that those lesions are not hormonally responsive. And we can do that with either birth control pills or an injection, mm -hmm. surgery to destroy those lesions, and in some rare cases, full hysterectomy, removing the ovaries so there's no more hormonal stimulation. The key is really working with a gynecologist to manage these symptoms so that it doesn't really affect your lifestyle. And again, good for Lena for getting out there and discussing this so we can have this kind of conversation. 100%. So yeah. important. All right. Thank you, Jen. You and Dr. Ashton is taking your questions. You can tweet her at Dr. J. Ashton.